This Island Earth is a science fiction movie from the 1950s, and um, it's, it's, it's okay. There's some nice special effects here and there, there's some very fun and imaginative matte paintings, and of course the most famous thing about the movie is the Metaluna Mutant, which has a very fun design that pretty much summarizes 1950s science fiction movies very well. I'm willing to bet more people have probably bought merchandise of the Metaluna Mutant than actual copies of the film, because this island Earth is... Yeah, it's, it's okay. If you like it, that's cool. So, if it's okay with you, I'm going to talk about Mystery Science Theater now. So, I'm, I'm sure a lot of my viewers are familiar with Mystery Science Theater 3000, the long-lasting show that riffs on movies, both good and bad, usually bad. And in the case of This Island Earth, it had the honor, I, yeah, I'd call it an honor, of being featured in Mystery Science Theater 3000, the movie, which I think for a lot of people was... Probably the most accessible way to see the show if you didn't have cable back in the 90s then Mystery Science Theater the movie was readily available at your video rental store and Unless if you were part of those wonderful circle of fans who were circulating the tapes as the motto at the end of the credits would say You probably might have missed out on a lot of the series In fact a, a lot of my memories of Mystery Science Theater 3000 was not necessarily seeing it on Comedy Central But from a really good friend of mine who amassed a huge collection of VHS recordings And we would just binge watch the hell out of that show and one of these days I'm going to have to do a sincere recap of the entire MST3K series, probably by drawing Crow or Servo. But for here and now, this seems like a good video to sort of get started on the topic of it. It seems like an appropriate place. A lot of the humor of the movie was, oddly enough, not really directed at the stereotypical sci-fi stuff that you think they would make fun of, you know, zippers on costumes and things like that, but a lot of it is just making fun of how much of a smug bastard the main character is. And there's, there's a lot of smugness all around in the film. Maybe it's the, the aliens, maybe it's just the fact that the hero is such a colossal dick that we're supposed to like him for some reason, I don't know. Mystery Science Theater 3000 the movie is still a classic, and I believe it is the perfect introduction to give to someone who has never seen the show before. Oddly enough, the movie is actually shorter than an episode of the series, so it's a nice quick little dose of the long run of MST3K has to offer. If you have a friend of yours that for some reason not seen the series, has not been part of the circulating tapes, and for some reason has not looked it up on YouTube, where people continue the tradition of sharing these episodes, the movie is a really good place to start. To all of my fellow Misties, I hope you've enjoyed this trip down memory lane. I will be returning to the Satellite of Love and the topic of this wonderful show another time, but for here and now, as always, we've got Movie Sign.